Yeah, g'day guys, and Matt here from Auto One Browns Plains. How are we all going? G'day guys. Um, as always, we'll do a little bit of a mic check. Uh, make sure uh, you can hear us and uh, let us know that you can hear us nice and clear. Uh, I'm going to pull up uh, the Facebook, I'm going to bring in the chat, and uh, yeah, if you, uh, if you have any questions, hit us with them and uh, we'll do our best at answering them. Or even if you just want to have a chat, we're here for a chat as well, guys. Yep. So, so while you do that, I can start with the hot or not, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah All right. So uh, this week, while well, Matt's going to do a Facebook page up, um, give us a thumbs up if you can hear us and yeah, do a mic check. Oh, um, hang on, we've, we've already got one. We've got Shane. Uh, g'day from Toowoomba. Hey, g'day. Hey, Shane from Toowoomba, how are you going? Well, I never knew uh, we would uh, spread that far. Yeah, yeah it's Toowoomba. Toowoomba. Wow. You'll have to come by and say g'day sometime, Shane. Alright, so. Uh, yeah, so the yellow one's the hot or not. Okay, so. I've got a, uh, a Integra four door coupe, or four door, yeah, four door coupe, or no, hatchback, four door hatchback, uh, it's a yellow Integra. So, uh, I'm gonna, I'll take it, take it up. Yeah, I've got it, I've got it, yeah, so, I'll bring it up and uh, close up on it, and um, I, I don't think it's a, it's just, I think it's a, it's a not for me, mate. So, I'll hold it up there, hopefully, you can see it okay. So, um, Honda came out, or no hang on, someone else, someone else came out with like an artist impression of an Integra uh, a couple months ago, we had it on this channel, Yes. and then they came out with this, so uh, let, let me show you the one they, that was like the, um, concept. I suppose you'd call it a concept or an artist impression or something like that, yeah, yeah. and that, that looked hot, it was, it was yeah. a sports car, it was two doors, two door. it, look, it looked aggressive, and then here we go, here we go everyone. Here's the car you're getting. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Oh, I don't nah, know definitely, that. definitely a no for me, that one. Even, even though it's yellow and it's got Integra written nah. on the side else, nah. still a no? That's a no. But yeah. I like the artist impression one though. Yeah, the artist impression was hot. I think we gave that one the tick of approval. Yes. Uh, and then this yellow one. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't know about that. I think yeah. that was a little bit of a trick by Honda. I think they got us all excited <laughs> and then... Yeah. Uh, I'm, look, it's probably going to be a good car, knowing Honda. Yeah. Um, but oh, yeah. expectation was here. Yeah. What they've delivered was down here. So, that's it. Uh, so no from us. Yeah, it's a naughty. Yeah, it's a naughty. All right. Oh, we got a couple of uh, comments. Uh, Daniel, g'day after. Good, uh, good, good afternoon. afternoon. <laughs> hey mate, how are you? Hey, and Aiden. Uh, Aiden, hey Aiden, how you going, mate? Yep. Thanks for tuning in again. Appreciate it. Um, <laughs> So, on to the news after <coughs> we've uh, yep. established that the Hondas are naughty. <laughs> um, and uh, the first first news item is, and, and it's hard hard to see it properly because they've been a little bit cute in the way they've advertised it, but Rhino Rack, yes. they've got a new range coming out. And uh, I'll go through the details in a sec, but it's, it's one of those uh, the legs and arms to start mounting trays over over the tub, tub. Of, of a ute. Like a tub rack. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's right. Now they, they call it their recon deck. Yep. Um, and I'll just quickly go through here. Um, versatile truck bed system, carefully craft, uh, crafted, uh, to look stylish even on the toughest trucks. Recon deck mounts to tracks that are fitted inside the truck bed on the following vehicles. Jeep Gladiator, Ram um, 1500, Toyota Tacoma, Toyota Tundra, Nissan Frontier, Nissan Titan. Um, so uh, the Frontier, I believe, is the same as a Navara. So it, th this is obviously an American yeah. release, but uh, in Australia, your Navaras, um, there is there is a uh, spec of Navara which has those rails. It's, yep. it's a set of rails on the uh, inside walls of the of the tub, yep. and uh, these legs, they're, they're a lot higher than a lot of the other Rhino Rack legs, and they mount to that, yep. and uh, what I'm told is they've got a fair bit of strength to them, yep. and uh, you, you sort of see a lot of utes out there at the moment, sort of with these, these racks, but with Rhino, we know they're well engineered, um, we know their weight rating is going to be realistic, um, so I'll bring it up and I'll, show, I'll give you a closer look. So uh, Al, does this make you want to uh, turn your 80 series into a ute and then you can put this on it? Nah, I 
terribly. No. <laughs> <laughs> it, it does. Look, it does look cool, and it's it uh, cool, you know yeah. it's been it's been a little while coming. So uh, great product to uh, see come out of Rhino. So we're looking forward to that. Um, yep. The rumours are so obviously heavily focused on the states, but the rumours are uh, coming to Australia extremely soon. Yep. Before Christmas is what I'm told. So guys, um, watch this space. This is coming out very soon. All right, let's just check our comments. All right, oh, we're all good, cool. Uh, on to the next one. Um, so, uh, in weeks past, we've touched on uh, the supply of uh, head units, particularly Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, coming out of uh, coming out of China for the most part, um, and how how slow it is and how hard it is for us to get them. Yeah. Um, you know, we're we're waiting on, or actually, we're actually waiting on an order from this time last year. So twelve months yeah. later, still waiting on an order. Yep. Um, and uh, one of the things in the news that's popped up lately is that JVC Kenwood are, are moving their um, their production from in Indonesia back to Japan. So uh, they're starting to react, and uh, hopefully, I think that happens in January. Yep. Uh, so hopefully, we <coughs> start to see these uh, the production. The, Start to kick in and, and start to see some units flow on through soon. Um, well, I think we're getting pretty good uh, supply of Sony, yeah, so Sony's, Sony's, really Sony's pretty yep. good at the moment. Yep. Um, but yeah, that's that's uh, an interesting one. It's that the world is changing out there, isn't it? All right, so on to the next one. Um, so if you guys watch a bit of uh, Moto Moto GP, you got the Moto Two category. Remy Gardner won it the other day so uh it's great young aussie obviously son of wayne gardner and is working his way through the ranks so uh congratulations to remy and another one aussies abroad over here um oscar piastri uh the guy in formula two um he's uh he's just confirmed uh today or yesterday uh that he's going to be an alpine alpine f1 reserve driver uh, so he's in, in the Alpine F1 team, and uh, that's that's next year. And uh, his competitor out there, um, I'm going to pronounce this wrong. Uh, is it um, Juan Zo or something yeah. like that? And uh, he's going to uh, Alfa Romeo, which was the final seat available. So that's going to be uh, is him alongside Bottas. So there you go. It was a shame it wasn't Piastri, but uh, I think he's a good racer anyway. So it's going to be good. Uh, all right, so um, on to the next one. We've got our catalogue. So we've got the, um, and Al's going to show us a couple of, uh, going to show us one thing from it and a new product as well. But this is our catalogue at the moment. This is the uh, Auto One Grade Advice, and uh, let me let me show it to you. It runs for another week. To the ah, sorry, it runs until Sunday. So this one here, you haven't got much time on this one, guys. So. Act quickly. It's uh, it's got some uh, shots of uh, Auto One people through it, which is awesome. That's what we like to see. Particularly this uh, handsome bloke on page two. Uh, let me. Uh... <coughs> there we go. Look at that. Page two, or how about page, back to page one? Page one. Look, we got Darlene. So Darlene's famous. How cool is that? Front page. Well done. Well done. <laughs> So anyway, that, that catalogue's out there, it's got some great deals, and uh, this one here, I, I don't think I've seen a, a toolbox deal like this for yeah, a while. Yeah, so I'll give you a quick rundown. So, it's in our fourth page. Yep, and we've got a link for this one, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll link it all, links, right, yep. While you link it all, I'll give a bit of a brief info. So this here uh, is a great toolbox from uh, SP Tools. So it is good trade quality uh, tools. Um, it consists of 206 pieces in metric and SAE. So Imperial and metric. Um, on the top it has the sockets, uh, socket sets and ratchets, um, which uh, is a 3 8 and half inch drive. Everything's got a, in a tray, so everything's got a home. So you can put everything back where it belongs. Um, also comes with um, spanners as well. And it's in a even tray, so everything's got a home in the tray when you finish. And it comes with your hammers and uh, the hammers, screwdrivers, uh, hex bits, uh, pliers, and just more wrenches, uh, a bit of everything. So, yeah, so uh, good overall uh, toolbox for uh, 
but it allowed me to see 26 pieces. So have you got your calculator on your No. No? <laughs> yeah. You can't do this one in your head? No. Hang on, we'll do it. So we're going to work out. So 206 pieces. So what about $12.99? $12.99. We're going to work out how much this is per piece. So yeah. yourself, if you know you work with tools and you come into a shop like this and you buy tools, whether you, whether you buy a spanner or a ratchet or um, a socket, it's going to be like 15, 15, 15, 20, 20 per, per piece of tool. So we're dividing um, 12 by 206 pieces. That works out to be... Six dollars or thirty a piece of tool. How great is that, guys? And I'm only dividing the pieces of the tools by the um, by the price uh, the price by the tools. So we're actually saying six dollars thirty a piece of tool in a free toolbox. That is great value, guys. So jump on it. Great deal. So we got oh, a few of those. Yeah. Um, got them in store. It, look, with the SP branding, it's not often you get an SP box with tools under two thousand dollars. Yeah. Not really only great. is it under that. It's it's closer to one thousand at one thousand two hundred and ninety nine. So that that's a bargain. Yeah. Um, so we that's got, almost the price of an empty box, you know. Yeah. And you get a free yeah. two hundred six pieces. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. what I look at it. So yeah, yeah. great great yeah. buy. So, so don't miss out on this one. Um, we've 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 ordered up on these ones, so we've got stock. So you can you can do click and collect. You can come pick it up tomorrow if you wanted to. Um, and uh, we've got them in store if you want to have a, a poke and uh, touch and feel. Nice ball. Nice bit. ball. Very slides. Everything's nice and smooth. Yeah, so got some yeah. uh, comments. Okay, so uh, Scott Scott's jumped on there and said, "Do you have any of the Android Auto Wi-Fi dongles so you don't need a wire on the phone all the time?" Android Auto Wi-Fi dongles. Um, Scott, what what brand head unit do you have? Um, so is it is it an aftermarket one? If it is, there might be something that we can find. Or oh. um, or if it's the factory one, adapting uh, Wi-Fi. Uh, or CarPlay and Android Auto to that. You gotta be careful, I'm not aware of companies that are selling those dongles that have bought the rights to do it. So they're out there, they're selling them, they do exist, I'm not gonna argue that. Um, but for us as a store, being responsible, being legal, um, there are some units that are out there that we can't sell. Um, so yeah, just let us know what you what you, what we're working with and uh, we'll try and help you out on that one. Or oh, it would say a unit that, the ones wireless connections, we can get them. Yeah, like, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so um, we've done some, uh, yeah, we've done some uh, units uh, through uh, Pioneer and, and well, I'm probably pulling them back out there. Mongoose, Mongoose. Yeah. Al's got a Mongoose. So we'll, we'll do a review the next week. Yeah, we'll yeah, we, we might show yeah, that one. It's got CarPlay and uh, Android Auto. How's it going? It's going good. Yeah. So yeah. it's what was it like a six or seven inch touch it's screen? It's a six point seven five touch screen. Yep. yep. It's, it's got Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. It can be wide or wireless. Yep. So the phone can be in my pocket, and I'm jumping the car, bang, everything straight on. And away you go. Away you come. I can press home or wherever. Or I can press home. It just take directions. Yeah. Straight away. No. Very simple to use. Oh, well, I, hope, I hope that partially answers your, your question, Scott. So, uh, uh, yeah. oh, here we go. Uh, Hyundai factory head unit. Okay. Um, so, no no dongles that we, we can sell to you to do that. Um, but if you have a bit of a look around, I am aware yep. of some that are out there that might work, um, but none that we can legally sell. So, we just got to be careful on that one, Scott. Um, Rod Manning says, hey, boys. Hey, Rod. Hey, Rod, how are you, mate? How's, how's, your, uh, how's your beast going? <laughs> What are we all up to tonight? Are we all uh, getting ready to go streetlight racing or a quiet night in? Quite not in for me tonight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think after all the rain the last week, I might have to mow the lawn on the yeah, weekend. Yeah, it's coming up. Yeah. yeah it's growing fast. Growing fast. So, all right, so um, yep, I've got another, next one. We've got another great new product in the store only. So it's made by a mean mother. Um, it's great for you guys who like to do your electricals for your four drives or a canopy fit out guys or in working your car. So it's a 12 volt power control box. It consists of six carbon switches, USB, cigarette lighters, voltmeter and a six six uh, way fuse holder. So perfect for me. Um, I'm about to do my electrical with my car as well so Shall I show them the stick pack? Yeah, I'll stick it back here and take, you can stick that on the um, switches. <coughs> it's always hard to see with this backing, but... So lots of stickers. So you can choose them for your symbols for your, uh, for the backlight. For the backlight. 
I've got a bit lower for the camera on the Facebook too, mate. A bit lower? Yep. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, go on. yep. so yeah, lots of options. Yep, so those options go onto these switches here. So you can stick um, whatever you like on the symbol. Uh, one, two, three, three cigarette lighters, dual USB, one uh, five volt, one amp, and you want two point one amp for fast charging, and a six way fuse. So yes, great panel. Great if you don't want your wiring set up on the back of the canopy and on top and side of your four wheel drive on the back passenger shelf. Very great and handy. So I was having a look at that the Anderson plugs on the. Yes. Um, on the side, so one of them, one of them can be power in, yep, and the other power, power out, out yep. or they can yeah, both so be power out. Yeah, so it's got two Anderson plugs on the bottom as well. So yes, and it's got one, two. It's got one on each side, um, holes here, uh, like a rubber grommet. You can feed the power through there. It's got two down the bottom where you can feed the power through, mm. or two on the top. Yeah, um, you can feed the power through. So makes a neat, tidy install, guys, for your canopies and your back of your use. Yeah, so or you, can, off it. you can hardwire it, or yep. you can do the plug and play. Or you just Anderson go plug, plug, Anderson plug, and power the whole box as well. And nice and neat. Nice and neat. It neat looks neat. fantastic. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, no, me, me and Mother do a real, really good job with that one. Want to run that up? Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll show hey, you. You yeah. can see the actual uh, power in, in the power. <coughs> yep, so you see where the battery is? Um, yeah, the battery is. Oh, yep, I'll go back, back to it. Yep. On the back of it. So, so you can have the battery going direct in, or you can have an Anderson plug straight in. Yep. So it makes a nice, neat install. They only install at Auto One at the moment, guys. So it's only a new product, so it's not on a website yet. So uh, come on down and check it out if you're doing your electrical fit out, guys. So, yeah, we've got, got plenty of these in stock. Yep. And uh, you're, you're a four wheel driver, Al. Yeah. How, how would, uh, what would you have running off that? So I'll be having all my, uh, I'm going to actually buy one of these as well. Yep. Um, yep. I've got, I've converted my starting window to a lift up window. So when you open your lift up window, and you got the EMU, 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 EMU yep, yep. lift it up, everything's on there, everything's all fused, like nice water, and water pump, um, interior light, fridge, the yep. stove, the like oven, a bit of everything. So, yep. yeah, and charge the phones and all my, um, all my drone battery packs and everything, so yeah, yeah. So photography stuff and yeah, it's a oh, oh, again it's the drone yeah. thing. Yeah, the drone's awesome. So everyone I know who's got a drone has killed one at least one. No. Have, oh, you, have, have you killed one yet? Not me, but I know two people have. You have yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. You, you've killed your phone. Uh, no, I haven't cracked my phone. You cracked your phone. You haven't killed it. I haven't killed it. Yeah. I, th I think the people want an update, mate. Yeah, I um, want to know what sort of phone you got. I did. <laughs> See, you get back to the phone thing. Yeah. I did. Uh, I did a bit of Google the other day. All right. I was sort of looking at the iPhone 13s, uh, sort of R and R, and um, then I googled um, S22. So S22 is Samsung. Samsung yep. Um, yep. launching January, February next year. Okay. So I might hold off. Still. That's not far away. Yeah, my phone still works, but yeah. it's cracked. But it it still takes good quality photos. So yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. holding off. Yeah, cause yeah, I don't want to go get a. S21 and then the format, oh, it's going to use that. Yep. So yep. I'm holding off for you. There you go. Yeah. We've got one last comment there from Andrew saying, buy Sam Samsung, uh, may as well get a Nissan. Oh, <laughs> so is an iPhone the equivalent of a Toyota? No. Is that what Andrew's saying? <laughs> uh, yeah. I think uh, Al's got a little bit of a conundrum here. <laughs> Uh, oh dear. Alright, well guys, thanks for tuning in. Thanks and, uh, guys. We'll, we'll catch you uh, in a fortnight, so uh, not, not next Wednesday, the Wednesday after. Yeah. Eh?